Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another episode. This one is nice and different, as I'm sure most of you know what lives behind this camera. This is my Mac setup, as we can see with this photo. Most of you also know that I'm trying to build my very own PC rig, either in this area here or replace my entire Mac setup. Best Buy and Asus have heard my pleas and have challenged me to build my very own gaming laptop setup in this very area, and they were kind enough to help power this episode. They're also giving away a Asus Zenfone 3 to one lucky person, so make sure you stay posted till the end of the video for those details. But this exact setup revolves around three main components, the gaming laptop, the G752, the jaw-dropping display, the PG348, as well as the dual-band AC1900 router. Let's go take a look at what this beauty setup looks like. So let's talk about the main player and component of this setup, which is the G752 gaming laptop. And it's been updated around a couple months ago and it now packs the GTX 1070. And I have been blown away with the performance of this graphics card. And it's really interesting to compare it to the desktop counterpart. And I'm super impressed in how it stacks up. No matter what you throw at this thing, whether it be light, medium, hardcore gaming, you're looking at over 100 frames per second. If you get into really graphic intensive games, maybe some Doom, which I personally don't even play, you're still looking at 60 frames per second, which is amazing for a laptop. I'm mostly sticking to some StarCraft 2. That of course is maxed out on Ultra. It's got a 2.7 gigahertz Skylake 6820, 16 gigs of RAM, which you can upgrade to 64 gigs, one terabyte of hard drive space with a 256 SSD, all of which can be upgraded simply from the back. Simply remove this little guy here, one little screw to access and upgrade through the back. And I really want to stress anything that you push at this guy, this will be able to handle without any issues. It does get a tad bit loud. The fan system is quite good. Cooling overall is great on this computer. It just might be a bit loud. So invest in a good pair of headphones and game on. Rock away. The overall build of the laptop is also great and looks distinctly unique compared to most gaming laptops out there. It's in a space gray gunmetal finish. It is plastic but still is built extremely well with hints of orange and bronze throughout so that's my own personal favorite. And in terms of overall weight, having that 17 inch gaming laptop, you are sacrificing portability and size for the raw internals inside. It's just under nine pounds and you kind of do get a bit of a bicep workout when you lift the guy maybe even a trap workout when you fit this thing into your backpack. And one last thing around battery life, I'm sure most of you know this, if you're in the market for a gaming laptop, two to three hours in day-to-day -day use and around an hour and a half, maybe an hour, 45 minutes if you're using it for gaming. Now getting to the eye candy of the setup, which of course is the display. The Asus PG348, a 34 inch ultra wide monitor and I can maybe simply wrap this one up by saying this thing is gorgeous. It draws on the design cues of the G752, so it's in the same gunmetal finish. Looks very industrial and once again, very different from what we've got on the market. It has a three spoke design and maybe the only criticism that I can find of this display is the overall footprint that it takes up. Just make sure you have a large enough desk to house this monitor. The thing is built like a tank. We've got accents of bronze throughout. And of course, the main thing that your eyes will get drawn to is the ROG logo, which illuminates at the bottom in red. And you can turn that off if you want, but I think that looks dope in a setup, especially if you've got an entire red theme, LED lights going everywhere. I've got a lot of questions about this guy and it looks sweet on my desk setup. So in terms of the actual display quality, we're at 3440 by 1440. And remember, this is a curved display. The curvature isn't as pronounced as say some of my LG monitors. It's a bit more subtle. The finish is matte. So once again, all viewing angles are great. Saturation, color reproduction, everything across the board makes your entire gaming experience extremely immersive. Love looking at anything that is displayed on this display, I can't speak highly enough about it. It's got a 100 hertz refresh rate, G-Sync built in. And just one thing to note, if you end up grabbing this combo and wanna pair this laptop to the monitor, just make sure you do grab the display port adapter cable. Sadly, doesn't come with it, but to take full advantage of the 100 hertz refresh rate and the entire resolution goodiness, just grab it. Something that I had to learn the hard way, maybe delayed this video by a day, but got it to you guys in the end. 
And the one thing that I won't talk about too much are the accessories and peripherals that you do rock with this setup. So your gaming keyboard and mouse as mine are in a dire need of an upgrade. Really curious to see what you guys are rocking. So let me know down below in the comments and maybe the best voted one or the one that catches my eye, I might pick up and rock for this setup. So thanks to you guys for the suggestions. And the last piece of kit in this setup, the AC1900 router, kind of brings everything together. Especially if you're focused on gaming, whether you're 4K streaming, playing any sort of competitive game online, this thing will ensure that you won't have any latency issues and provide you the best coverage and performance for your internet needs. It's got 5G Wi-Fi, is around three times faster than your conventional router and gets speeds of up to 1900 megabits. I was actually testing getting around 1670, 1700 myself, so solid performance on that end. Love this thing, plus the overall look of it. Looks straight out of an alien science fiction movie, and I think it makes the perfect addition to this setup. And that is it for my very first setup gaming laptop hybrid setup video. Let me know your thoughts. I'm super interested and we'll read them all down below in the comments. All the stuff that you saw in today's episode, all the Asus products you can of course pick up at Best Buy. Links down below. Asus and Best Buy have also created a pretty cool experience video where they've got random people doing some tasks on the streets in Vancouver. I will leave that link down below. It's kind of playing in the corner as well so you can get a quick little sneak peek. And as for the Asus Zenfone 3 giveaway, simply leave a comment down below on your favorite feature of today's setup. Smash that like button, sub to the channel, and more info will be posted over on Twitter. Best of luck to everyone, and I will be announcing that somewhere on social, so make sure you stay posted. I think that will wrap up today's episode though. Really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch the rest of you in either one of my next episodes or in one of my next vlogs. Peace.